This Genshin situation is out of control. But before we get into that, subscribe. It's free and helps out the channel. Now on to the news. V Shoujo member Silver Veil celebrates 200,000 followers on Twitch and Twitter. I never thought I would ever have such a huge and loving community. I thank you for being on this adventure with me. I can't wait to see where the future takes us next. And, well, uh, what the fuck is she doing? It's the fucking crap That's everything I ever wanted. Congratulations to her. And while we are on the topic of V Shoujo, the auditions end at on September 30th at 12 p.m. PT slash 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So less than 24 hours left to send in your applications. If you plan on auditioning, go ahead and do so um, before it is too late. And good luck to everyone that is auditioning. So it seems like Twitch is finally trying to put an end to the hate bots that have been going on. They tweeted, Today we're putting more power in the hands of the community by enabling phone verified chat. Now creators and mods can require viewers to verify their account via phone number or email before they can chat. For more information, read the review the blog. Uh, there's nothing much to review, it's just make sure to enable this so that your chat needs to verify their email or phone number so that you won't get these hate raids anymore. This feature has been many months in the making, but our work is not done. We're actively building additional solutions to keep communities on Twitch safe and welcome your feedback on user voice. Thankfully, Twitch is finally putting an end to that, so you Twitch users don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm glad. So this week's Speak of the Devil will be postponed until next week. I am sorry for the inconvenience. I will be on for a normal stream tomorrow. At Iron Mouse Murphy Shoujo tweeted that. Um, her Speak of the Devil is where she basically interviews a uh, VTuber or content creator. Um, and she, this week she's going to interview Snuffy, but Snuffy is going through um, some medical issues and her health is way more important than um, that. And she apologized for it, but Iron Mouse, of course, and people told her not to apologize because, as I said, her health is very important. Um, I do hope that she gets better and everything goes good for her. And while we are on the topic of Iron Mouse, uh, the at Iron Mouse Mouse Wave music video drops in two days. Full album comes out everywhere October 9th. Nine songs total and no skips, I promise. Um, so here's a little sneak peek of it. I hate that Twitter kills quality. there's your little sneak peek it'll be available october 9th and you can follow at lord i don't know how to pronounce that mainly because i'm dumb i'm sorry but uh there's his at right there Brony, just one day after mume blessed our ears with her amazing singing decided to bless our ears with her singing too um she did a karaoke stream last night and i believe she also got 30,000 viewers um and was trending on twitter with thousands of tweets about her it was great the stream was fun but there were some audio lags as you can see she was saying there was audio lag again are you kidding me i even checked countless times before Beforehand. I guess she's been having computer issues with that, unfortunately. From what I listened to, I didn't get a chance to listen to the entire stream. Um, but from what I did listen to, it sounded great to me. Um, she blessed us. That's all I have to say. We need more of these, more of these streams already. VTuber Zentreya on Sunday without giving too much detail. Zentreya went into a severe mental breakdown. Zentreya will be on break until therapy is given and are confident enough to continue work. Thank you. So, unfortunately, she had a mental breakdown and everyone is wishing for her recovery and i'm um, telling that we will still be here when she comes back and she can take as much time as she like i really hope that she gets rest and therapy and anything that she needs and amazing return to us fate fans out here winning boys artoya Artoria Pendragon, also known as Saber from the Fate series, is the final character in the base roster of Melty Blood type Lumina. Melty Blood, I've never played a single Melty Blood game, but I will play this game solely for Saber. I will spend $60 or however much this game costs just so I can play a Saber in a fighting game because I love Saber and I love Fate. Melty Blood also, I think, has some things to do with Fate. I'm not too sure. I, again, I don't know anything about the Melty Blood franchise. All I know is it's in the Type Moon universe, but it has Saber and I believe it also has multiple Saber outfits. I can't turn this down. I will drop $60 to play as my blonde hair waifu. Speaking of waifus for a game that has so many, it's very fucking hated right now. Genshin Impact kicked off Genshin players and they go on a review bomb spree. And what do you think this led to? They are review bombing games that are have nothing to do with fucking Genshin. The list of apps that are being review bombed right now by the Genshin communities, Honkai Impact Third, okay yeah that's MiHoYo right there. Tears of Themis, I don't know what that is. Dark Knights, that's not MiHoYo, what the fuck clash of clans that has nothing to do with mihoyo pokemon unite what the fuck did pokemon do cookie they're targeting cookie run never mind this means war you motherfuckers how dare you target it I okay i'm sorry i'll calm down <clears throat> punishing gray raven i don't know what that is epic seven i think that's another gotcha game fake go what the fuck targeting the fake community you want to fight mobile legends league of legends wild rift alchemy stars class google classroom roblox call of duty mobile alchemist code and i i, I don't understand i i think i know why they're doing it because if they review bomb 
Pokemon, a bunch of other games, and leave shitty reviews due to Genshin, then it would make Google and the App Store want to remove Genshin faster because they just don't want it on the App Store anymore. But you're review bombing these games for no reason. It, it's rude as hell to review bomb like Cookie Run Kingdom. Who the fuck has that game harmed? Art Knights. Who is that hard? I, I I don't understand it. On the topic of Genshin though, someone tweeted, if you're genuinely having a panic attack over the idea that a gacha game may be removed from the app store, then you need to step away from it. And this is in response to this person tweeting, to the people out there who are afraid Genshin may be removed from the app store, it will not. It just won't be featured by Play Store, so please do not panic, okay? And then they posted breathing exercises for you if you need any. And I mean, people are attacking this person, which don't, don't attack them, but if you're... I get Genshin, it's some people's happy place to play a gacha game. It it came out during this hard times for people and people really enjoyed it and are loving it. And I understand why people are so passionate about the game, but you do, I don't know, I, I don't know how to word this. There's no good way of saying this. Just don't attack these people that are like having panic attacks over it they have suffer from them just please don't attack anyone and to genshin fans if you're watching this please stop attacking the apps okay like stop attacking fucking cookie run kingdom it's so rude what the fuck did they do i don't know what else to say on this though other than if you made it to this far into the video this is the end of the video and goodbye have a good day